Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to talk about another theorem, theorem three, and this is on the location of absolute extrema. Okay. In this case, this theorem states that if f be a continuous, or let f be a continuous function over a closed bounded interval, i. Okay, sounds familiar. Going back to the example, uh, the definition of extre uh, absolute extrema. Okay. The absolute maximum of f over i and the absolute minimum of f over i must occur at either the endpoints of the interval i or at the critical points over the interval i. Okay, the critical points of f over uh, in the interval i. Okay, that's it. So that is a theorem that's going to be very useful in finding. Um, the maximum or the minimum values, as long as we're dealing with a function that is uh, over a closed bounded interval, uh, then again, we're going to basically look for the critical points over that interval, but then also we're going to test the endpoints as well. You must always test the endpoints when you're dealing with a closed bounded interval and you're dealing with maximum or minimum values. Okay, so we're going to look for critical points. Again, those are where the derivative function is equal to zero. The values of x is where the derivative function is equal to zero or undefined. And also then we're going to test the endpoints to find the absolute extrema. Okay. Next, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over the problem solving steps uh, in the next video. Take care.